Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you a real simple technique to extract a still frame out of an After Effects composition. It's very easy to do inside Premiere Pro, but in After Effects, you got to do a little bit of rejigging. So if you want to work along with me, I've just got a standard composition here. I've got a video, as you can see here, as I scrub through it. Just a regular video, and let's just say that I really like this shot right here okay we got some girls dancing I want to take this shot and only this shot and save it as an image there's two ways to do it I will show you both the first way is you want to go up to composition and you want to hit go down to save frame as if you go across you'll see that it goes to file now the first and this is the default setting for me but if you are not sure how to do this you want to basically go in and where it says output module Mine is selected as Photoshop. There are a bunch here. Select Photoshop. And when you see here on the right side, it says output to. At the end of it, you're going to see dot PSD. That basically means you're going to be out, out, basically putting out a um, rendering a Photoshop document. That is what dot PSD stands for. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And let's just go ahead and hit render. And bang, it's done in a split second, as you can see here. And if I go to where I rendered it, which is up here in my Creative Cloud, you're going to see here that I've got it. It's saved here as a .psd. And when I double click it, it opens up inside Photoshop naturally because it's a Photoshop document. That is one way to do it. There is another way if you want it to be a JPEG, which might be the case for a lot of you guys. So I will delete this render here. I'm going to go back over here to the craziest nightlife. And let's say for this instance, I want it to be a picture of this girl holding a water gun. All right, whatever. It doesn't really matter. You want to go up, back up to composition. You want to go to save frame as, select file, just like we did last time. But this time, we want to go ahead and change this up. I'm going to go down to custom. And then instead of Photoshop sequence, you're going to see it loads up main options and color management. Instead of Photoshop sequence, I can select JPEG sequence, so JPEG sequence, and I'll keep everything else the same, and I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to render that, and it's done in an instant, of course. I'll go back into where I, where I loaded it up, and now you're going to see here that I've got that image saved as a .jpg, and when I open it up, it opens up in preview, and it is exactly what I wanted, guys. So if you work in After Effects and you want to take out some pictures from inside of it, this is an amazing way to do it. It's really, really easy to do. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I got a lot more stuff coming up. Thanks for watching.